Hey, good morning. It's Amanda from The Fundamental Home and it is early and I had a late night. <laughs> Just getting all kinds of stuff done around my house. And uh, while I was up last night, we were watching the news and there is a lot of turmoil going on in the world. And I've been thinking about it and I wanted to kind of address something that came to my attention yesterday. Um, it, it's kind of been brewing for a while and I think you'll know what I'm trying to say. There is a lot of division happening in the world. I mean, there is an election, there's racial tension, there's all of this different kind of terrorist acts and different things happening on the world stage, and it's causing a lot of division among individuals. So what happens is when I go on Facebook or any kind of social media or even just talk to different people in the community or my friends, I'm seeing a lot of division between just individual people over these big issues. You know, one person is pro-Trump and one person is pro-Hillary and they each want to put their different opinions on their Facebook page and of course they would, it's their page. Um, but then there's all kinds of fussing and arguing over the individual political stances and of course it's not a discussion, it's not anything helpful, it's really just a lot of fussing and arguing that turns into one person thinking another person is an idiot. In fact, I saw one Facebook post and, and I even participated in it because I thought it was interesting. It said, you know, look up the Trump uh, Facebook page. And when you go to it, you can see how many of your friends have liked that page. And then go to the Hillary Facebook page and see how many of your friends have liked that page. And then it, you were supposed to comment below how many of your friends were on each one just to kind of gauge uh, the stand of your friends politically. And I did it because I thought, oh, that's that's pretty interesting. I wonder how they, how they stand. But what happened was that we had there were people commenting underneath it and it was like so many idiots so many trump or so many people i'm not friends with anymore and so many hillary and it was just these these were their friends <laughs> so it, it's just that's kind of the attitude that i'm seeing is a lot of people they they have people in their lives that they don't necessarily agree with on everything and rather than just respecting their opinion on uh, whatever issue there's this tension and there's this division and as things get worse and worse in the world it's worrisome to me because the fact of the matter is you know I, it's easy to joke about the election but a lot of these issues are very serious and if we don't stop the division then it's going to be a problem worse than it already is because like with the racial tension uh, issues, you know, everyone has loved ones that they're losing on both sides. And we have the power to change that if we are willing to change from an attitude that's critical to an attitude that's loving. You know what I mean? You don't have to agree with everyone on both sides, but you, you should be loving to everyone loving and compassionate and understanding. It's challenging. My sister's vegan. I've mentioned it before and she's an animal rights person. And of course I'm super into homesteading which is kind of the complete opposite. And if she and I sit and talk about our different opinions on that subject and we do it in a way that we're trying to change the other one's mind and we both feel so strongly in our own way then what it's going to turn into is fussing and arguing and each of us feeling badly about the other one. Um, but instead, we could just talk about other things and just respect the fact that we feel differently about that and not make it an issue between us. And love each other because we're sisters. You know what I mean? Just overlook that. Katie keeps trying to jump on my lap. <laughs> but I think that people don't treat one another that way. You know, they know that the other person feels different and rather than just looking past that individual issue and seeing them as a person they only see that issue and they want to deal with that one issue every time they see them you know it's like have you changed your opinion on mashed potatoes yet
okay, well, do what you do. You know, and it's, it's just, it's very negative. It's, it's very <sighs> discouraging is what it is. And I don't want to be a place of discouragement here. I don't want to bring you down. What I want to do is bring this to your attention because it's in little things. It's in little things like when people come on my YouTube channel and they criticize how I grocery shop. If you grocery shop different, that's cool. Do that. Put up your own video. I'd love to see it. <laughs> I really would. But, but you don't have to come to my channel and jump on it. You know, I've had, I've had people tell me lately that, I, that there's criticism abounding that I'm not a real homesteader. I'm not. <laughs> I want to be. I really do. I really do. It's something I'm pursuing. I got seeds yesterday to try my fall garden. I'm like super excited. It's really super early. I'm getting ready. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm heading out trying to plant something. I'm not showing you videos because I'm ashamed. But you don't have to tear me down because I'm not a real homesteader. You know what I mean? You could try to help me. <laughs> I mean... You could come over to my house and show me what I'm doing wrong. That would be great. But that doesn't, you know what I'm saying? These little things get in between us. And we get in the habit of being critical of other people. And the habit of doing that is what causes a problem. And, you know, the, there's that saying, united we stand, divided we fall. We're really setting ourselves up for a fall if we can't come together. If we can't come together over the little things, we are going to fall. And I think we have an enemy that knows that and that's why they're causing this kind of division. But I, I wanna encourage you not to give in to that sort of thing, honestly. I really want you today, it's Saturday, go out and have a good time with your family, relax. And then when all this, you know, when, when all of this comes to pass, whatever's happening in the world stage, I haven't even looked at the news today. I mean, it could totally be falling apart and I'm unaware. But when whatever happens and the dust settles and, and we move forward, we have to try to build a community that is supportive of one another and helpful to one another and not constantly tearing each other down over the little divisions. So today, I really want you to think about that. I want you to think about how you can, rather than saying things and doing things that divide, how can you say things and do things that bring people together? That we don't have to have the same opinion, but we can be a community that loves and cares for one another and supports one another in spite of our differences. And I'm not just talking about just this little, tiny little home, you know, YouTube community or the homeschooling community that's also on my mind. I'm talking about ladies, moms, wives around the world. Because we have to figure out how we can unite and love one another in spite of our differences or we are not going to have the opportunity to. So it's kind of a deep subject, I know. But I think, you know, I keep seeing all these videos and, and it's just been on my mind and I wanted to say what was on my mind. So you can definitely leave some comments below if you have anything that you want to say about that. It's going to be obvious if you say something divisive. <laughs> but, you know, I really try to, to blow all that stuff over and, and not pay any attention to it. And I don't care when it's little things, but when I see it happening in a larger sense on the world stage, I think somebody's got to say something or it's not going to change. So anyway, think about that. You guys have a great Saturday. I'll probably put up another video later that's not so serious. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.